And that takes us to our second point, and that is the real life example of God's son. Because Jesus drew close to Jehovah, clearly. He was taught by Jehovah. Uh, remember Isaiah 54 regarding Jesus' pre-human existence where he said, he awakens me morning by morning. He awakens my ear to listen like the taught ones. Does that sound a bit like your Gilead training? Morning by morning, Jehovah was awakening your ear. Wake up, Henry. Yet Jesus wasn't instructed by Jehovah for five months. He was instructed for billions of years. And during all that time, his relationship with his father continued to grow and deepen. So then we put it all together. You saw your relationship with Jehovah grow significantly in five months of deep Bible study. James 4.8 encourages us to just keep drawing close to Jehovah. And Jesus did so for billions of years and look at how close his relationship with Jehovah is. So then what's the answer? How close can you be to Jehovah? The potential for your relationship with Jehovah to deepen is endless. How deep is your love? Is your love? How deep is your love? As we discussed, Jesus drew close to Jehovah. He was taught by Jehovah for billions of years. And what was happening during that whole time? He was being imbued with Jehovah God's thinking. And it so permeated him that when he was on earth, he could say at John 14, 9, whoever has seen me has seen the Father also. So in other words, everything that Jesus said, everything that he did while on earth in every situation, well, we could imagine Jehovah doing and saying those very things. Well, how, how might we do that? Well, we'll go to Matthew chapter 18 and verse 16, because obviously... Uh, Christ Jesus established the Christian arrangement. And notice what he said, Matthew 18 and verse 16. He says, but if he does not listen, take along with you one or two more, so that on the testimony of two or three witnesses, every matter may be established. So Christ Jesus establishes the fact that there has to be two witnesses. Now, it doesn't mean that if if there's only one witness, that there's no consequences, there, there might be, depending upon the situation. But the, the scriptures are very clear. Before a judicial committee can be convened, there has to be a confession or two witnesses. So we will never change our scriptural position on that subject. And that is why the success of your assignment is directly connected to the depth of your relationship with Jehovah. The more you draw close to Jehovah through a study of his word, then the more you are imbued with his thinking and the more then you will do and act and say things as Jehovah would. I have long said, the better the university, the greater the danger. The most intelligent and eloquent professors will be trying to reshape the thinking of your child. You want to be guided by Jehovah's thinking, don't you? You want to do things as he would do them. Well, the closer you are to Jehovah, the deeper that relationship is, the more your decisions will mirror his. The authorities in Norway have threatened to remove our legal registration because of our scriptural beliefs and practices regarding disfellowshipping. In the future, Various governments will challenge our freedom of worship. They may pressure us to change our scriptural beliefs, but we're certainly not going to do that. We all will have to answer to Jehovah for the decisions we make today. May we all decide to play it safe before our God. 